Oh my god. I did not get this far for Leon Dreisaitl to just murder me. Hey everyone, my name is Melody and thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome to the third and final episode of my little mini franchise mode series here. I've entitled this episode Cup or Bust because that was my thing. It was always going to be three years and three years I'll be able to take the savers from a laughing stock to a Stanley Cup champion. So this is it. This is year three. The first two years went great. First year we won the President's Trophy but we got eliminated in the second round in seven games. Uh, then the next year we won the President's Trophy again but couldn't get past the Flyers in uh, the third round. The Flyers, as you can see, ended up winning the Stanley Cup. So what are you gonna do? But this is it. This is my last crack at it. So we'll see if uh, we'll see if we can get it done. So I have a plan, and we are going after one guy, and that one guy is Buffalo's own Patrick Kane. Patrick Kane now in 2022-2023 is in the final year of his massive eight-year, $84 million contract. So maybe Chicago would be a little bit more willing to give him away. <laughs> Probably not. The biggest problem here is cap room because I have none, and I don't know how I'm gonna fit a $10 million player into it. But we're gonna figure that out. I might not be able to get him to, at the start of the season. I might have to make some some cap moves and see how I can finagle things. So he might be kind of a mid-season target, but we're definitely going after Patrick Kane. Three-time Stanley Cup champion. He's gonna help bring his hometown team to glory. But yeah, so we'll start right here at the NHL draft. I'm not gonna do anything uh, too crazy. I think I'm just gonna make my picks and uh, that'll be that. I think by now in year three, I let all my scouts contracts expire and just not re-sign them. So it's pretty, pretty true to form for how the Sabres did it. Alright, so we finished up the draft. I didn't really do anything special. Um, normally the draft is kind of where I go nuts, but but we have a plan. We know what we're doing. I think I only have to re-sign Tage Thompson and uh, Ugo Pekalukanen. Earlier in the offseason, I gave uh, Adam Boquist here five years at 6.4. Um, so he's all taken care of. So now we have five million dollars to basically sign Thompson and uh, Lukanen, which um, hopefully won't be too much of a pain in the butt. Okay, so we got Lukanen for a year at 2.85. Tage Thompson only wanted a year, got him for 2.25, so we have 1.5 million in cap room. I'm not gonna re-sign Blake Coleman, um, and then I'll just re-sign all my Amherst here. All right, so it's July 1st, all I really have to do is re-sign Ryan Miller, he was being a pain in the butt, and he wouldn't re-sign with me, but he will now, it's just annoying. Oh, Alex Ovechkin's a free agent. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. He scored 55 goals last year, too. Oh, I would love Obi. I can't afford him though. Oh, Risto's a friend. Should we bring Risto back? After all that. All right. So just as a cap clearing move, we're just gonna we're gonna move on from Brandon Montour. He's making four million, and he really doesn't fit in any of the D pairings. So we're just gonna move on from him. I'm just gonna try to find someone cheap for him that hopefully fits in a little bit better. Yeah, he might work. Let's just okay, yeah, like a second. Yeah, probably not. Maybe. Oh, it did. Okay, cool. So definitely cleared a little bit of cap room there. So that leaves us with three million. Okay, I'm fine with that. You just bring back Joel Armia, former Buffalo Sabres first round pick. Got Miller, got Armia. All right, what year is it? <laughs> I'm going to wait on Patrick Kane until the season starts just so we can figure out our cap situation because we're going to be real tight to the cap. But we should be fine. This is a two-time president's trophy winning team, so we're fine. It'll be good. All right, so here's what we're working with as of right now. We have Skinner, Eichel, and Ehlers uh, on that first line. Uh, Duclair, Strom, and Thompson this time. Normally, uh, Olofsson is on the second line there, but Duclair also gets the plus five, so we'll just put him there. Um, Cousins, Reinhardt, and Olofsson on the third line, and then my fourth line, Raymond, Felino, and Armia. Then on defense here, we have Darlene and Boquist, Yogi Haru, Dougie Hamilton, and Brodeen, and Shillington, and in goal, Ugo Pekalukanen and Ryan Miller. Lukanen's are all the way up to an 86, that's good. So we only have four million to work with. Obviously if I want Patrick Kane, I need Chicago to eat half of his contract and that still probably won't even work unless I give them money back. All right, we're still a million away. I don't think I'm gonna wait till the deadline to go get him, but I think I'm gonna wait until about January-ish, see where we're at. Hopefully he's just that missing piece that we need. All right, so we're starting off the season against Tampa Bay. Let's see how we can stack up against them. We'll just sim this first game here and then we'll move on. That's a good start, Jack Eichel, 2-0. Mm -hmm. Joel Army on the board, Jack Eichel getting a hat-trick in the 
first game, the second period, third period, same score, looking in with the shutout. I like how that first game started. Cool, all right, so Jack Eichel wants that heart trophy, he's starting strong. So I'll go to December 1st, um, and then we can kind of reevaluate where we're at, see what Patrick Kane's doing, so we will go to that. So here we are on December 1st, not nearly as good as previous years. Um, let's take a look at the standings here. We're 16, 8, and 1. That's good for third in the Atlantic. Um, only two points behind Detroit for first, but puts us in fourth in the entire league. So we're, we're a little behind normal pace. Obviously, in real life, any Sabres fan would take that, but um, we gotta win the President's Trophy every year. That's I've set a standard now, so we're let's go try to get Patrick Kane. Let's see what let's see what happens. Look at Alex Nylander's trade value. Come on, game. What are you doing? He's an 89. Sure he is. How's Casey Middlestad doing, by the way? Eh, that's a good year for him in Chicago. All right, good for them. I like Boquist, so the trade worked out for both sides. Patrick Kane. All right, so now it's saying that by them eating half of the salary that we actually can afford him. I don't know what changed. It's probably going to take one of my two top prospects here. Um, and I really like the way Clark's developing. So it's probably going to be this one. Dundas. I did just draft another medium league goalie, so we could start with that. We could totally cheese it up. I can just give away all my first round picks, because since I won't be needing them anymore. <laughs> just drafted Brenda Moore too. We can just give him my whole, my whole draft class. Low elite prospect. We can give him... They're gonna say no to all of this, but couldn't hurt to try. Four prospects and a first for Patrick Kane at half price in his last year of his contract. What do you say, Chicago? I didn't think so. <laughs> I know what I have to do. Two prospects, a first and a second for Patrick Kane in his final year. Chicago, what do you say? Patrick Kane is a Buffalo Sabre. I didn't want to give up that prospect. I really liked him, but we gotta do what we gotta do. We're going for the cup here. Patrick Kane's coming home, so let's see what our lines would look like now. Alright, for right now, we're just going to put Kane on the second line with Reinhardt and Olofsson. Um, I'm still waiting for Ryan Strom to come back from an injury. Um, so I'll, I'll just fix this once uh, Strom comes back. He should be coming back around like Christmas-ish. But yeah, Patrick Kane, Buffalo Saver. We'll just sim ahead until Ryan Strom comes back so then we can get our lines kind of finalized. Alright, so everyone's finally back from injury, so... Here is what our lines look like. We have Skinner, Eichel, and Ehlers staying on that top line. Um, the second line, Strom, Cage, Thompson, and Patrick Kane gets me a plus five. Um, third line, Olafson, Reinhardt, and Cousins. And my fourth line I'm kind of leaving out to dry here a little bit, but we have Armia Raymond and Duclair, which isn't really a great line, especially considering none of them are centers, but hopefully those top three lines can kind of carry the whole team here. 49 points, uh, so that's basically tied with Montreal. They have a game in hand on us. Um, we are fourth in the league. Um, it's a pretty tight race though, so hopefully we just string a few wins together and we're three-peat in the President's Trophy. So I guess we'll sim up to the trade deadline now. Um, I have absolutely no cap room to work with, uh, so it looks like this is kind of my roster and hopefully it'll work for us, but yep, yeah, right up to the trade deadline we go. Ooh, look at that trade. Dumba and Nick Letty get traded to Minnesota for Cahoon and Jonathan Taves. See? Not just Patrick Kane they want to get rid of, they, they're getting rid of Jonathan Taves too. It's a new era in Chicago. And then Chicago immediately trades Dumba. That's funny. This game's funny. All right, so here we are at the trade deadline. It's a pretty tight race for that President's Trophy here. Let's see. So as you can see, it's a pretty tight race, even in our own division. Uh, we're tied with Tampa in points, but they did play two less games than us. Um, and then we're four points behind Philly for the President's Trophy for first place in the league. Um, so I don't know if I can repeat as President's Trophy winner, but 
It'll be a tight race. I don't I don't even think I can do anything at the trade deadline. Let's see how much cap room I have. Yeah, I don't even have a million in cap room, so there's really nothing I can do here. So I guess we'll just go to the playoffs and see if we can finally win that Stanley Cup. Just, yeah, I guess we'll just sim to the end of the season and hope for the best. Alright, so a strong finish at the end. Let's see. I don't know how it ends here. Look at those last two games, though. 10-2 and 8-3. to That's how you finish a season. Jack Eichel finally gets his first career 100-point season. 53-23-6. and six. Let's see. Yeah, we did it again! <laughs> we came on strong at the end, and we win our third consecutive President's Trophy. Wow, yeah, that was close. Look at how good all these teams are. That was, uh... I didn't think it was going to happen. As we know, the President's Trophy means nothing. you got to win the Stanley Cup. Um, let's take a look at how everyone did. 49 goals, just missed out on that 50 goal mark. But 101 points. Uh, Ehlers and Kane both over a point per game. That's pretty good. Kane did get 50 goals, so that's pretty, pretty cool. Um, a bit of a drop off, but still, I mean, that's pretty solid production all the way around. But yeah. <laughs> Three straight President's Trophy wins. That I will take that all day. We gotta win the Stanley Cup here. I'll be really sad if we end up like losing the first round to Boston. <laughs> if we're gonna lose in the first round, you know it's gonna be to Boston. Who else would it be, right? Let me just go in. Let's see the matchup here. Got a 98 on offense and a 91 on defense. See, goaltending might be a bit of an issue, but yeah. So that's pretty good for a team that had so much trouble scoring goals. See how easy it was to just fix your goal scoring problem and your offense problem. All right. I shouldn't be so nervous about this, but here it is. Game one, round one, first period. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god. Thanks, Patrick Kane. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna lose in the first round to Boston. Oh my god. Let's see if we can not have that happen in game two. First period 0-0, zero, zero. second period 1-0. I, I, I don't like this. Okay, we do win. 2-1. to one. This is way too close. On to game three. I don't I don't like how close this series has been so far. I, I kind of wanted to blow Boston out, but... Okay, that's better. 3-1. to one. We got Skinner, Raymond, and Brandon Hickey. Um, second period, same score. That's good. 4-1 final. Sam Reinhardt. Okay! I feel better now that, uh, <laughs> I just, can you imagine if I get all this way, win three straight President's Trophies, uh, call Cup or Bust in the final episode, and then lose in the first round. Like, <laughs> first period, 0-0, zero, zero. second period, 1-1, one, one. Ehlers and Charlie Coyle. Third, oh, oh we're going to overtime, I, I don't like that. Oh, but we win, Sam Reinhardt. All right, I feel better now, three games to one series lead. Oh man, okay. We just needed to get all this out of our system. It's fine. It's fine. Can we close them out here in game five? First period, two to one. That's good. Second period, two-two. They tie it up. Come on. End it. Another overtime game. Uh-oh. Overtime. Ah. Boston wins. Come on. <laughs> I don't want to keep going. Multiple games against Boston. Watch this go to game seven, just like all my other ones. I'm literally the Toronto Maple Leafs, like... <laughs> Always going to game seven against Boston. I don't want to. Let's close it out in six. First period. There we go. Three nothing. Boca Strom and Eichel. Second period. Four to one. Good Skinner. Six to two final. We are moving on. <laughs> we get by Boston in the first round. It got me way too nervous. But we lose Ehlers. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're gonna have to deal with some adversity. That's okay. <laughs> All champions do. And of course, we're facing the Tampa Bay Lightning in the second round, the team that we were battling with uh, for the Atlantic Division. Without Ehlers, I don't like it, but let's see, here we go. First period. Three. What is with this 3 nothing? <laughs> oh my god, second period, 4-2. Third period. Oh, we almost came back. But we dropped game one. Can we not give up three goals in the first period of game one? Can that 
please be a thing if we get past Tampa. Just try to not do that again. Game two. Two to one. Come on, Ugo Pekalukanen. I need some goaltending from you. Okay, we tie it up though. Patrick Kane ties it up. Third period. You know, <laughs> you know, Lukanen's not even that bad in this game either. Like, I don't know why he's simming so bad. He's an 86. Game three. Can we please get a win here? One nothing Tampa. Great. Two to one. That's better. Hamilton and Tage Thompson. Finish it off. There we go. Five to one with goals from Eichel, Reinhardt, and Victor Olofsson. That's much better. <laughs> We need to tie up the series. We need to just last a little longer, get Ehlers back. All right, can we tie it up here? Game four. Yeah, see, that's a good 3 nothing first period. <laughs> Kane, Cousins, and Eichel with the goals. Second period, 3-1. to one. That's okay. 6-3 to three final. All right, see, we're fine. I wasn't panicking. You didn't see me panicking at all. I knew we were going to come back. And then we lose Tate Thompson. Cool. It's like, yay, good things happen to us, and then we take good things away from you. It's okay, game five. We're battling some injuries, but we can do it. Game five, first period, two to one. All right, Boquist and Eichel. Second period, five to two, yep, mm-hmm. Samson Reinhardt getting it done. They did not just score three goals in the third to tie it up. We did not just blow a third period three goal lead. We better win it overtime. I'm gonna throw something if we don't win it overtime. Oh, thank God. What was that, my extra player that I keep around, my Rochester American, I don't even know who that is, scores the overtime winner. I was about to straight up like lose my mind if we were if we would've lost that game. Wow. <laughs> this is going so much more stressful than any of my other playoff rounds. We get Tage Thompson back. All right, I do not wanna go to a game seven. We have to eliminate them now. Game six, first period, two to nothing. Well, it wasn't three to nothing. <laughs> Second period, okay. So it's not happening in this game. That's okay. Eight to two, good. That's how you come up big in a potential elimination game. That's good. Let's go. Let's just go to game seven after that. <laughs> oh my god, please. Here we go. I swear to God, <laughs> game seven. <laughs> First period, 1-0, that's a good start, Ryan Strom. Second period, 2-0, Dylan Cousins, come on. Do not blow this lead, hold it. Yes! We eliminate Tampa Bay, 2-1 final. Thank God. We are going to the Eastern Conference Finals again. That was a big win for us. Who are we playing? Philly! <laughs> I have to get my revenge. I got my revenge on Boston the year before. Now I gotta get my revenge on Philly in the Eastern Conference Finals. It's just a repeat, that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna get our revenge. We should have the edge. Look at that. We should have the edge in goaltending and offense. Defense is pretty much the same. We should be fine. We should be able to do it. Sam Reinhart casually leading the team in points. 17 points in 13 games for Samson. That's how you come alive in the playoffs, Sam. All right, here we go. Eastern Conference Finals, Game One, first period, two to one. Great. Anthony Duclair is finally getting on the score sheet. Second period, nothing. Third period, still nothing. Okay. <laughs> We've lost all other game ones and we were fine. I'm not worried about this. We just gotta bounce back. Can't lose game two, come on. After one, two to nothing, good. Jack Eichel, that's how you do it. Seven to nothing, okay. See, that's better. See, I, I told you I wasn't worried. Seven nothing, we got goals from Strom, Eichel, Thompson, Armia, and Patrick Kane. And third period, another one from Tage Thompson, eight to one final. That's better. All right, game three, here we go. First period. 2 0, Duclair and Kane, cool. Second pair, 5 to 1, that's what I'm talking about. Look at all these goals. Skinner, Dully, and Olofsson. And that's how it remains. Big win. Keep that train rolling, come on. Come on. All right, first period, 0 0. Second period, 1 0. Okay, Jeff Skinner, can we hold this lead? Come on. Yup. Skinner with the hat trick. That's how you come up clutch, Jeff. I knew that nine million was worth it. All right, game five for a trip to the Stanley Cup Finals in Buffalo. Can we do it? First period, one nothing. Good, Tage Thompson. Five to two. That's how. Look at this. We went down two to one. That's okay. We recovered. Eichel with two. Yoki Haru and Reinhardt for a trip to the Stanley Cup Finals. We get it. Patrick Kane with the empty netter. To seal the deal, we are going to the Stanley Cup Finals. 
So you just make progress every year. That's what you gotta do. We got out in the second round the first year, third round the second year, and now we're going to the Stanley Cup Finals where hopefully we don't lose. <laughs> Who are we playing? We're playing the Oilers, yes! It's the showdown everyone's been waiting for since the 2015 draft. Eichel versus McDavid in the Stanley Cup Finals. Oh, I couldn't ask for that being any better. That's awesome. And look at that, we get Ehlers back. It's perfect timing. So with Ehlers coming back, we're at 99 at offense. Compared to Connor McDavid and the Oilers at 95, we got the edge in defense and we got the edge in goaltending. So hopefully, hopefully, this should be our series. We should be the favorites here. Here we go, game one of the Stanley Cup Final in Buffalo. McDavid versus Eichel. Here we go, first period, 1-0, Henry Yokiharyu. Second period, 1-1. One, one. They tie it up, here we go, all down to the third. Ah, Dry Settle scores the winner, all right. We don't need game one. That's every single series we've lost game one and that's okay because we bounced back. Let's try again. <laughs> game two. First period. one nothing. Athena CEO. Second period. Still one nothing. Third period. Oh, we tied up. Patrick Kane. This one's going to overtime. In overtime. Try settle again. <laughs> no, come on. We can't do this. I made it so far. We can't lose now. Big comeback, we gotta take two on their home ice now. That's better. First period, two to nothing. Second period, okay, three to two, a little bit better. Dry Sidle's killing me. Uh, third period, oh, good job. We get the win, did Patrick Kane have a hat trick? Yeah, Patrick Kane with the, with the hat trick, Strom gets the other one. We got a six to two final, nice. Okay, just take game four and we got a whole new series. Let's see. Game four, lots of goal scoring, 2-2. Look at Dreisaitl is killing me. Thompson and Cousins get our goals, second period, 4-4, four, four. wow. This is, this is awesome. Third period, going to overtime again. Holy crap, the series, we gotta win this. We gotta score, overtime. Who else? <laughs> oh my God. I did not get this far for Leon Dreisaitl to just murder me. All right, well, need to come back. Need to come back. Here we go. The cup's in the building. Here we go. First period. Two nothing. Oh, but look at we come back three to two. Okay. Third period. Dreisaitl's gonna score five. Nope. Okay. Good. <laughs> good. So we're going to game six. Game six in Edmonton. Here we go, first period. Three to two. All right, that's okay, just one goal. Second period, four, three. To stay alive. Oh, <laughs> this series is insane. Can we please not get scored on in overtime? We win, we're going to game seven. Boquist. Can you believe this series? This is hysterical, wow. It all comes down to game seven in Buffalo. We came back from 3-1 down and it's, wow. <laughs> this is amazing. All right, here it is. Game seven, Stanley Cup final, Buffalo, Edmonton. Here we go. This is it. This is what it all comes down to. Okay, first period. Wow, this is just nonstop goals. But look at Jack Eichel. Three, Three to two, Jack Eichel gets two, Strom with the other. Second period, four to two. Should we watch how it ends? We have to watch how it ends, right? If it's anything like the rest of the series, it's gonna be insane. We'll watch how it ends. I wanna wear white at home though, so we'll have white, you guys can have orange. We got a two goal lead headed into the, into the third period. I'm not touching this, I'm putting this down. And here we go. Can we hold a two goal lead in game seven of the Stanley Cup final? Here we go. Put up or shut up. Oh, big save. Connor McDavid needs to get off the ice. <laughs> See, Patrick Kane, what an addition. I knew that was the final missing piece. We just needed Patrick Kane. Oh, off the post. All right. Get that offensive pressure, that's fine. Keep it in their zone. Ooh. 
you know what, if it's just a low action kind of game, not a lot happens to end the game, that is fine by me. I don't need, we just need to protect this lead. Take it to the garage, we're done, come on. Yeah, don't let Leon drive side, will touch the puck. <laughs> oh, oh no! Good, good play, good D, that's fine. Look at Sabretooth, Sabretooth's ready to celebrate a championship. Do for Tooth, do for RJ, Rick Jenneret, can you imagine? Hearing Rick Jenneret call this game right now. You care, you shoot! Oh, loose, oh, Patrick Kane! Oh, come on, I would have loved it if you would have buried that one. We need some insurance, I don't like two goal leads. Oh, don't! Come on, get the puck back, what are we doing? What are we doing? There you go, right out. No cousins. Dougie! Oh, good pass, shoot, oh! Right back, Samson, oh. Bury that, Sammy. Penalty, call it, yep. Good job. How about a power play goal? How about it? Can't do that, Athanasio. There you go, Tooth. Hi, don't let them go. Get them! Um, <laughs> no shorthanded goals, please. Get, get out of here, Connor McDavid. You're not walking by Darlene. Oh, right to the slot! Oh! Oh, there you go! Oh! So close, come on. Hi. Don't. No! Oh my god, I swear to god. If they would have let Connor McDavid score a shorthanded goal. Oh, that's. Oh god, here we go. Oh, big save, looking in. Oh, what a giveaway! What are you doing, Patrick Kane? Not a great power play, but we're two minutes closer, so. That's fine. Right to the slot. Oh! Dougie! Oh, loose! Oh, <laughs> it was right there. Ike's. Oh! Eichel wants that hat trick. That game seven Stanley Cup final hat trick. Mm. No, don't, don't let him do that! Oh! Oh my god. Do not. There you go, Jeff. Oh god! Oh, big save, Lukanen. Can you imagine how loud, if Lukanen was our goalie, how loud the UPL chance would be in a game seven Stanley Cup final? Oh, there's the cup! There's the cup! Who's it going to? The cup is in the house. Come on. Take it home. Take it home. We want that cup. Two minutes, 28 seconds. Oh, big save. There you go, UPL. Just cover it. Just cover it. Good. 123. Come on. Pull that goalie, Edmonton. You know you want to. Oh, big block. Skate, Boquist. Skate, Boquist. Look at how fast he is. Oh, big shot. Nice save. Oh, give it right to him. All right, you're pulling your goalie now, yep. Don't let Connor McDavid shoot, ever! Go, Kaner! Over to Samson, to Kane! Oh, what is that? What is that puck move? Just get it deep! Out in front, big save, UPL! Oh, get Jack Eichel out there, he's the empty net king. 31 seconds. Come on, 31 seconds. Big face-off win, oh. Oh, big block, go Dylan. Go Dylan Cousins! Oh, gives it away to Dreisaitl, no! Don't! Oh, big save, UPL! Samson, get it out! What are you doing? Oh my god. 13 seconds. Oh, big save, UPL is clutch! Yes! You are Buffalo Sabres are the 2023 Stanley Cup champions. See, that's all it took, just a few simple little moves. Look at Ryan Miller out in there winning his Stanley Cup with the Sabres, that's awesome. Look at that team, what a team. Three time President's Trophy winners and finally we get it done, we finally get the Stanley Cup win. That's so funny. This series just like gave me so much anxiety though. <laughs> like that was such a crazy series. I can't believe we came back and won it. Ray, I love the tradition, but it's gotta be hard when you come up short. You feel really low because you've given everything you have and you shake hands with
somebody that's just beaten you. Who wins the con smite? Ike's Kane? Patrick Kane wins the con smite. It's funny, it's a beautiful trophy. You're proud of the MVP, and yet nobody seems to really want to hold on to it, right? No, because everybody in the building, including the players, is waiting for the next one to be out there and to be presented. And that, of course, is the same. Just like Ryan O'Reilly gets traded, wins the con smite. <laughs> Jack Eichel, the first Sabre to ever touch the Stanley Cup. Hopefully he'll stick around long enough to make that actually happen in real life. You win it at home too, can you imagine? It'd probably cost me my entire life savings to go to a Game 7 Stanley Cup Final, but I would. it'd be worth it. Only if we win though. Who's he passing it to? In, norm in real life, you know he'd be giving it to Ryan Miller. Doesn't that look so nice? Sabres walking around with the Stanley Cup. Like, obviously that only happens in video games, but it looks nice, doesn't it? Wouldn't it be nice? <laughs> Tage Thompson's getting his skate. <laughs> UPL came up big there at the end. We look good in white. I like. I really like the idea of white at home. That's a that's a pretty good look. What a picture! Well, there you have it. Took three years, but we did it. Just like I said, we would. I had no doubts. You didn't see me with any doubts. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for sticking with me this series. I had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment below. Tell me how you felt. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you soon. Go Bills. Bye guys.